Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about autism symptoms in newborns. Newborns, by definition, are babies from the time they're born until the completion of the first month of life. This is an exceedingly difficult time to pick up symptoms of autism because there is so little language and so little relatedness going on. This is a period of time when the child is learning just to see the mother's face and make out basic facial expressions. When we're looking for autism, a lot of what we look for involves response to maternal facial expressions, smiling back, looking to mom for reassurance or emotional cues, and these things don't tend to develop until later in the infancy period, around four months for laughter, two months for smiling, nine months for recognizing a name, or for looking to mom at something that the child is interested in, or to see if a situation is safe. There are a couple of things that get our attention. One is family history. If a child has a sibling with autism, there is an increased risk for autism. If a child has an identical twin with autism, the risk is very high. But of course, if the child is a newborn, that twin will also be a newborn, so it's going to be very hard to know. There are certain genetic symptoms we may be, syndromes we may be aware of, like fragile X or Rett syndrome that uh, we can screen for that may contribute to a diagnosis of autism. We can also look at head circumference. Children whose heads grow very rapidly initially for the first year of life seem to be at higher risk for autism compared to others. Talking about how to identify symptoms of autism in your infant, I'm Dr. David Hill.